All right, y'all, what's going on? What's going on? Yeah. 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 I've got um, this hot honey pizza from the Crow Ghetto. Okay, so if you're new to the channel, please, please, please subscribe to the channel and subscribe. Even if you aren't new, if you haven't subscribed, definitely go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell so you get notifications the next time we post a video. Leave us some comments down below. Let us know things I see is try, things I see is cook. Interact with us because we do like to hear from you. I'm going to say grace and get started. Definitely follow. Thank you for the food that we're about to receive for nourishment of our bodies and health. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I'll just show y'all the box. This is what it looks like. Hot honey, pepperoni, and feta. Um, y'all will see this on finally. I'm going to be doing a pizza Friday. It's been a while. I mean, I've still been eating pizza. Clearly, I y'all be getting my pizza videos on other days. But oh, I guess I already ate pizza this week. Oh, well. Well, now we'll see. <laughs> we'll see when y'all get this. <laughs> I mean, I already posted a pizza video, I should say, this week. I'm not going to cut it any further than that because it's just me eating this. It look good. It smell good. Mm. Okay. Goodbye. Olive oil. What? Olive oil grana padano sauce. What is that? Cheddar marmalade and waffle waffle crumble and honey crystals. Mm. Okay. Private selection sale. <laughs> We're not coming to play. All that stuff, whatever it is, is good. What's that waffle crumble? Cheddar marmalade. Oh, but, um, private selection got all these cute looking pizzas, and I said, I'm about to try it. Mm. My brother came over for lunch today, he liked the soup. Mm. I shared some with Calvin. We did a soup exchange, and he got it. He liked it too. I, it's so funny to me because I literally have never had this soup, but it sounded good. And instead of me going to Olive Garden to go get it. I said, well, let me just try and make it myself. I said, like, look the fact how I made it. I was still living at my apartment. Mm. It might have been. It probably was 2020, honestly. <laughs> so funny thing today me and Yasmin was talking because well we talk every day but in the midst of her telling me telling her about something with my car I realized that um I was doing something and I didn't tell her what I was doing but I want I wanted to tell her after I was done um, I almost told y'all, but and I ain't really said nothing yet. 
but I soon will tell y'all <laughs> what that thing is that I was doing. But in any event, it so it was kind of uh, testy or not testy, but it was like, how am I not gonna tell her because? Or if she pair from sin because we talk all the time. But now I just realized I didn't tell y'all, so I gotta wait. I gotta wait to explain that to y'all. So we'll tell y'all another day. Why do I keep turning it? I don't know. Turn it again. Uh this piece is good. It got some sweet stuff. That could be coming from the honey. Well, obviously from the honey, but also maybe the waffle. What is it? Crumble? Could be doing something. It also tastes a little, got a little kick to it. Um, and what's about the same? It's a thin crust little joint. I'm like, clearly I'm gonna eat this whole thing, but I'm not gonna feel like I ate a whole big pizza. Like it's not, this is not real heavy, you know? And maybe it's the, whatever that sauce is, but it kind of at first smell and taste, it kind of smell, it smell like, it tastes like buffalo sauce. And I wonder, it's the sauce with, with is with the you know. The base of the pizza, yeah. It probably is. I've never heard of this sauce before though. They made that. It's a product of Germany. My brother went to Germany. My brother went to Germany. He really liked it. He got to go like as part of like every, was it his summer training? I think every summer they have. He has some training that he has to go to. Um, so my summer was to Germany. And he was telling us about all the, you know, different, like, historical places that he went to and stuff. And the food, I got a watermelon, lime, olive oil. Mm. I, I told y'all before that anytime I drink anything carbonated, Sometimes before you even hit my mouth, I get the hiccups. Or right when it, you know, right when I put my, my mouth up to the can, like I get the hiccups. So, but. What is that? Excuse me. Probably my body said, don't eat it. Don't drink it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. In, all, in, in Aldi, I have saw, I don't think it was around this time of year, they had like schnitzel <laughs> and they had like, I don't know if that's potatoes or pasta or whatever it is, that is tr traditionally eaten with sch schnitzel. And I was gonna get it last year, but I didn't. But if I see it again, I'm gonna get it because now I know I'd be liking to try different like culture food, and I've seen like schnitzel being made like on the Food Network, particularly like watching diners, drive-ins, and dives, like some of the restaurants he's gone to. Guy Fieri, so. I'm gonna see it, I'm gonna get it. Cause I, I isn't all the uh, a German uh Brand chain or whatever, yeah. Um, what 
well, oh, me and my brother was, um, watching prices, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, we we have like Samsung TV, so they have Samsung TV, like uh, just channels of all type of stuff, movie channels. They have a Wild Now channel, which I used to just put that on in the background. Like, probably wasn't even watching the TV for real, for real, but I just I like Wild Now. Um, I don't know if it's just a solely game show channel or if it's just all prices right, but <laughs> we was watching it. He is so silly. He like, you know, when they get excited when they name is called, they get excited if they were chosen to like play the game, if they've guessed um if they bid it on the thing right or whatever. Y'all wonder when you win the game what well, well do you get the do you always get the prize that you bid it correctly on to get to play a game? Do you get that regardless of if you um win your game or not? <laughs> and we was watching an episode that on air back on air back when Bob Barker had dark color hair, so no, I was I was like back on the eighties. My brother said he watched one from the year he was born. He over the hill. Over 40, so. Oh. And I was gonna see a Crumble video this week, probably, cause Crumble got that waffle thing, you know, I was just talking about that when I did um my last little review so crumbles gotta happen sorry I, I don't like to go to either of my cookie places if they only have one cookie that I like except for if they have certain cookies like the cookie man is the pumpkin cookie and more so just like the regular pumpkin white chip. He got some other ones, like he got a pumpkin roll one. He's got a another type of pumpkin cookie. Um, but those don't really, I mean, I'll get them, but that those ain't the ones. It's that pumpkin white chocolate chip cookie. Um, I had his cookie meal up, well, I forget, we got to talking, conversing. And maybe it wasn't him, because I know that there's a that, that he has a social media manager now. So maybe we was talking to, to her, but I was asking him about the um, white chocolate caramel cookie, because that one is my favorite chocolate chocolate cookie that he makes. But they were saying that um, Maybe I said to see y'all before already. Sorry. This is good, by the way. <clears throat> it's different. I, I don't think I ever would have thought a watermelon and lime would be a good combination, but it is. Um. He was saying that the supplier that they were getting the caramel chocolate chips from, or the caramel chips from, no longer makes them or discontinued them, and they haven't been able to find a replacement. Which I can understand because I was telling, or well, I don't know if I told him or maybe just said in the video that I did try to make those caramel. I tried to make a brownie cookie with caramel chocolate chips in it because I feel like that's what his cookie tastes like. A brownie with caramel chips. It did not fare well. And those uh, caramel chips that I used look more so, they like they were orange. 
and it made it look like I made Halloween cookies. I just didn't come out the way I wanted them to. I use I use brownie mix. I think they were good. They just uh, weren't completely aesthetically pleasing. But it was because the the caramel chips were orange. It just threw everything. Okay. But anywho, all I have to say that this waffle cookie is the cookie that I will go for, and I don't care if they don't get nothing else. I need my waffle cookie, and make sure you give my syrup. Okay. So I'll talk about in yesterday's video that um, when I went to a dealership, I had told them about two issues that I wanted them to look at. In addition to like what I had signed up for them to do or whatever, I told the girl right at the gate, like, I was like, hey, She's like, well, you here? You know, you're here for you know confirming what I had checked online, but what I, the additional things, I don't even know if it was a place to put them on there, but I ended up just telling her whatever. So when she brought my paperwork, uh, she's like, okay, you're all set. And I said, you know, what about these two things? And she's like, one of them, she said, for the for my lift gate not working, she's like, oh, you just need to change the battery. Your key fob just need new batteries. She tried to play my sense on my tail. Just like, girl, I Googled that. Like, I mean, I well, one, I know how to change the battery if I need a new battery. It's not the battery. Um, and I also told her, like, you know, she just wasn't, clearly wasn't listening when I was talking because I told her that all three options that I could use to open my lift gate, which is the button on the trunk itself, a button inside my car, and the key fob, none of those worked. She said, I mean, she did say that she, she said she misunderstood what I was saying and that, but even still it would be something that I would have to drop my car off for. And then the brake thing, she said that the technician doesn't like to drive in the rain or do test drives in the rain because they don't want rain to be one of the factors that could be causing the issue. Okay. But I wish that was something that you would have told me when I said to you that that was an issue that I was experiencing. Like, and then they do a, a like a 360 check or whatever of your vehicle. Um, How y'all ain't know that the, how you ain't see that the, the trunk don't open? Like, ain't that something that y'all check to make sure it's functioning? I don't know, I'm just saying. Bro. Oh. The dealership calls after every service appointment to see how your service went. I talk, I, don't, I won't say, I did say to you that I never answered, but I won't say that I never answered. I have answered before. That's how I know what they be calling for. But I don't always answer because I know that's what they're calling for. Um, I mean, if it's fine. But that's so bad about consumerism because we gone. We gonna you gonna we gonna highlight the bad, okay? We gonna say what's wrong, or or you will report a bad experience before you report a good experience. In consumerism, I feel like, and so, hey, Like licking the, I think she's licking the glass. Um, yeah, I think she, uh, I was just saying that we will report a bad experience before we report a good one, but I do sometimes I do leave good reviews, especially if I really, really like something. I'm so impressed, like, I have left really good reviews before or whatever, and people ask me to, mm hmm. Uh, like, you know, for furniture and stuff like that. They'd be like, can you leave me a review? Like, when I went to Greece, I think two of the things I did in Greece, they wanted us to leave a review, and I did. Um, you know, obviously positive, good reviews or whatever. 
So I won't say that I always report a bad review or a bad experience with the product. And I, I don't always report the good stuff, but I have before, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, and I will just say that I answered the phone and I let them know what was going on. So then they had the service manager call me and basically they're going to, you know, assess whatever and like, fix whatever for, for the free free. Which is cool. I'm always apprehensive too just about car stuff because I feel like I don't know a whole lot about car stuff. So, you know, I feel like they might, well, they do take me up top. And they did, I didn't know but last time I, when I got my brakes fixed, they also replaced my rotors. But I didn't need my rotors to be replaced. And they should have known. They know that too, but they just went ahead and replaced them anyway. I was talking to my uncle and I was just like, oh. And he was like, yeah, they got you. Because <laughs> it was well below the, you know, mileage and time in which I would need rotors replaced. Like my, my car just hit over 60,000 miles just i had it for five years mm -hmm. well, five years last year so that would just you know take advantage of me like that no one i need no dang on rotors and you know brakes i mean brakes don't cost you something too but rotors really gonna go up in you and i was Honestly, if I hadn't received my tax refund, I probably wouldn't have, I wouldn't have gotten, or at least I would have done better to try and see how I could get them done cheaper. But I had the money. I was just like, okay, well, I'll just go ahead and let them, you know, replace everything or whatever. But if they hadn't been for that, <laughs> I would have done what I normally do, which is I at least try to find a way or see if I could do something myself or, or get it done cheaper because ooh, I don't like paying full price for stuff. I don't. If I can if I can help it, if I can avoid it. Now if I have to, if I've, you know, exhausted all, all other options, just like I that's what I gotta do. Okay. But like I'm looking for a bar, get a discount code when I like when I shop online or whatever and I get to the checkout. I'm looking to see, like, in my email, did they send me a coupon code? Do they got any deals, specials going on right now? Can I find a coupon on Retail Me Not or something like that? Like, or just Googling uh, coupon codes for whatever store I'm shopping at? Because, listen, I just, if I can help it, I don't want to, I don't want to spend the full price. Like, because I know it's ways you can save, that's all. Um... So yeah, but the service manager was really, you know, he was apologetic. Everybody was like, you know, and I was just like, you know, I kind of felt dismissed because like, I let you know that I had these issues and you just didn't even, ma'am, you didn't even say nothing about it. Like I had to ask you about it or whatever. Like I would expect it like, hey, you know, these things are done. And as far as these two additional things, like this is what's going on with those or whatever. And it's just like, you know, I was like, nah, I gotta come back. So I am gonna go, excuse me, take my car up there tomorrow. And we'll see what happens um, or see if they can figure it out. And they said, if not, they'll give me a loaner card. They also didn't have loaner cards available yesterday, which was fine. I mean, but I was already there for over two, hour, two hours anyway. I mean, it was however much longer I needed to stay. But he, was, the service manager was saying, you know, he's, he was going to have a conversation. I just also feel this. I didn't want to get home girl in trouble, but I was being honest about my experience. Like, and I just feel like certain people you wouldn't, you wouldn't do that too, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't don't dismiss my ish. Like, just take my money and run. No, I'm just playing. But uh, um, but yeah. So he said that um, you know, it's one thing if they put it, if she did put it on a service request and they just didn't get to it. But it's another thing if it never made it on there in the first place for the technician to even look at. It. And I feel like that's it has to be the case. I don't think she even ever put it on there. And I was like, it seemed like she was taking notes, and it did seem like she was taking notes as I was talking, but. I don't know, and I'll have to look at my, I don't feel like I've seen, it. yeah, I don't think she put it on here, honestly, 
But she, I feel like she, well, I don't know how much newer she is. It's not like I go every day or whatever, but she do sit in the seat that this other guy that I really liked, he was really cool. He, he just was a cool dude. He's an older gentleman or whatever, but like, you, I don't know. You just, you could just tell like good people, good spirited people or whatever. He was just one of those people I feel like. And so, um, and there was, um, and the other guy, I'll never get service by him though. I, I wonder if he is, if that's the service manager. I don't know. We'll see when I go tomorrow. Um, but there was another guy too that used to be there, but, uh, I feel like when they moved to this new building, I feel like I ain't seen him no more. Oh, but I, this is what I was going to talk about yesterday. I chose this place. So I told y'all that I got, um, my car out of the city of Columbus. Like I got it at another place. Um, another city clear. It's a, it was in Springfield, Ohio. So about I think it's like 45 minutes away from um, Columbus, but um, when I knew I wasn't going back to Springfield every time I needed to get my car service, so I um, chose the place that I go to now, and I chose them because the other place that sells Mazdas here, Jermaine Mazda, okay, they tried to play me when I was looking for my car, like. They just tried to get me, man. Like, they really tried to, like, get over and, like, I don't know, just really, like, go in. go Like, I mean, they just tried it. He absolutely tried it. And I'm so glad that at that time I was, like, I wanted a new I wanted a new car. I didn't really need a new car. I could have just got the couple things on my car fix. But I just, I felt like if I was going to put money into it, I would just rather put whatever money I was going to have to put into my car at the time into getting a new car. I was already, I already had a car note anyway, even though my car was almost paid off. But, um, or was it paid off? I think I did pay my car off in the process of uh, getting the new car, which is another reason why I was just ridiculous. It was actually pretty, pretty dumb that I sold my car to the dealership or only let them give it to me for $600 because it was mine. Like, I owned that car. I had paid it off. Um, but I just did. I just, it just seemed like a headache to me and I didn't want to deal with it. So, the lesser of two evils for me was just to let them have it for however little they were going to give me for it. But, um, yeah, so I guess I didn't have a car now at the time, actually. But, I was prepared like I feel like my credit score was at a good place where my car no one gonna hit me up over side the head um I wanted to get the car that I got fully loaded I wanted everything that came with it because I'm just like if I'm gonna get a car no I'm gonna get everything that I want um and I, I've said this plenty of times that I saw the car that I have at a car show um I got I bought my car in September of um 2018 but I early like in March of 2018 I went to this car show um here at the convention center and I saw it and I just could it I could not get it out of my mind like it just looked to me I just like the way my car looks like um I feel like it looks kind of like a upper class or upper scale like mid-size SUV but I'm not paying like you know uh or didn't pay you know a uh, hefty price for it or whatever like still kind of not not on you know what i'm saying i ain't on uh my people level you know what i'm saying like uh like yes or whatever but i ain't you know honda civic honda like ain't nothing wrong with a honda uh crv or whatever because they look they look a little bit better now and i probably would have considered it but i just didn't like the how the body style looked or whatever so i looked at different i looked i did my research i looked at a you know, different, like, comparable vehicles to mine at the time. And I just couldn't get the Mazda out of my head. I just couldn't. I don't know. I liked it so much. Um, so I, you know, went to, the first one I went to was Jermaine. And I don't even, yeah. And they, like I said, they just tried to play me, man. Like, they tried to offer me my car for more than what the sticker price was. Like, so we test drove the very model that I wanted. It had everything that I wanted in there. It was the same year, everything. When they gave me the price, it was like, it was a couple thousand more than what the sticker price even said. And I'm just like, 
why are y'all trying to play me? So I'm glad people was just like, you gotta be, you got your walk away game gotta be strong. Like that's what my, my current leader says. Uh, Cause I, I don't know, we were just talking about, you know, buying cars at one point. And it was like, I walked out of there. I was like, well, if y'all could give me this car for this amount, then I buy it. If not, then I'm a holler at y'all. And I walked on up out of there and it was so crazy because I think dude, I don't know if he were, he, he couldn't have remembered me because so I had went there twice to test drive it and just to see, you know, what they would say or whatever. And like homie did not remember that he had talked to me already. And therefore he gave me the same spiel, his same little script two times in a row or whatever, um, or two times or whatever. And I don't know. And then they, they pull all the classic moves. Like they were like, oh, you know, they wanted to run my credit before we even like, we need to solidify you know, I got my financing, y'all. We just need to figure out how much to, we gonna we gonna come, what agreement we gonna come to on this, the number of or the you know price of this car. So then I just end up, I just emailed and just con contacted like a lot of different Mazda dealers in Ohio, and I end up finding the one that had what I wanted um, for the cheapest in Springfield. So I went to Springfield to get my car. Um, but when I decided when I was deciding on who, what service I was gonna get whenever I came back, it definitely wasn't gonna be Jermaine because I just didn't like how they treated me. So I picked the other place um, that I go to, so. But I just couldn't believe them. You can't let these people get you, you know what I'm saying? That's why you gotta stay educated, man. You gotta stay educated, you gotta stay knowledgeable, you gotta do research before, beforehand, you know what I'm saying? Because these people play you, for real, they will. Okay, on that note, I'm a um I'm a peace out. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave some comments down below. Let us know things I see is tried, things I see is cooked. Interact with us because we do like to hear from you. And subscribe to the channel. Go and subscribe. Hit that bell so you get notifications the next time we post a video, and we'll see you in the next one.